Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at niftyhomestead.com, and they have an article on rodent control without poison. Like most of their articles, it's very in-depth, a lot of good details. They talk about gophers and voles and different ways to get them out of your garden. One thing right here is a, a stick of juicy fruit chewing gum. I've never heard of that. Reportedly, they love the flavor of juicy fruit, but they can't digest the gum, and it clogs their intestines and leads to death. That would be kind of a slow... <laughs> arginous death i would imagine and maybe not the best humane thing to do even poison's probably faster acting than that um but of course poison will poison your ground and maybe your ground water so live traps are an option uh, they talk about how cats are perhaps the best option we'll scroll down here to a mole repellent recipe using castor oil water and dishwashing washing soap try to use the more natural soap but the soap is necessary as a wetting agent to kind of increase the surface tension of the uh, water and allows for the oil to more easily dissolve in the water since you know oil and water don't exactly mix very well they talk about using it to uh, use as a repellent around your garden now castor oil is pretty natural and probably won't burn most of your plants but i would test them on sensitive plants first wait a day and see if it's burned them up at all now talk about rats and repelling rodents with scents planting mint around entryways will de deter squirrels chipmunks rats voles all sorts of mice and rats from taking up in your home crushed bay leaves they're good for keeping away rodents as well as insects they don't like the scent of bay leaves now uh, cloves as well and peppermint oils are great uh, laundry sheets they say reportedly work although i've never heard of that working although it makes sense a lot of animals insects they're drawn to their food by smell and if you can confuse that smell they're going off to easier hunting grounds now they like to enter homes and buildings through small cracks crevices under door you can see some crazy escape artistry of mice escaping from pet cages they can get through the tiniest tiniest cracks so you want to make sure that they're closed up you want to make sure they don't have a source of water like a dripping pipe or whatnot make sure you don't have a lot of old clothes or cloths or whatnot laying around because that's potential nesting materials if you have clothing or sleeping bags blankets that sort of thing storm and mouse proof plastic like hard plastic containers um and cardboard boxes they can chew through pretty easily all right there's other tips and tricks here mothballs those i believe are somewhat toxic i'm not sure though uh, store pasta rice and sugar and other drachmizing glass or plastic mouse proof containers and bay leaves will also help keep uh, weevils and whatnot out of your dried food goods and uh, using live traps lastly but of course keeping cats one of the best natural methods of repelling uh, mice pests of all sorts uh, they suggest having one indoors and outdoors. Different cats are better mousers than other. I've been told that the younger cats are usually better, but not quite kittens. But uh, the older cats, they just don't have as much energy. So I'm going to link to this article in the description so you can read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.